Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Summers and this is Dot somewhere. You want to come here, Dot? Come on. She may not come up here. Come here. Jump up here. Jump up here. Come on. Come on. She goes in these moments where she's just a little bit afraid. And we all know what that's like to be just a little bit afraid, don't we? There are a lot of people who are very much afraid today. Many people that I talk to are just afraid. They're, they're, they don't know what it is really that they're afraid of. They just walk around every day, uh, sort of like Dot's doing today, just shying away from everything and being afraid even of the things that, that are there to help us, like with Dot, her food. Uh, and sometimes we do that, we get afraid. And you know, there's an antidote to that. The Lord God is our antidote to fear because true love that he has for us through his son Jesus is the greatest force in the universe. Fear has no power over love, uh, not true love. Uh, fear is when we uh, are apprehensive to the point of being immobile uh, over things out of our control and we forget that God is in control. So my strong recommendation to everyone today, if you're feeling afraid, get out the, the Bible, turn to Isaiah chapter nine, read what is called the first song of Isaiah. And if you have access to the internet, uh, obviously you do, you wouldn't be watching this. Hey, I'm on top of things today, I'll tell you. <laughs> Check out Jack Noble White's version of the song, the first song of Isaiah. that Isaiah heard that God gave to him in the midst of a dark time for the Hebrew people. Uh, the Lord gave a word to Isaiah that are recorded in Isaiah chapter 9. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid for the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the streams of salvation, and on the day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. In the midst of the darkness, reach out for the Lord. Reach out for him, he's there with you. Darkness has no power over him. The night and the day are both alike to him, and he's with you, he sees clearly where you are, he knows what you're going through, and he loves you. Call upon him. Uh, fear not, he's right there with you, and remember that he loves you. And Dot, I hope, gets over her apprehension today, because I've got to take her out and run her for a little while this morning. And I hope you have a blessed day today, and God willing, Dot and I will see you here again tomorrow. Surely it is God who saves us. Have a blessed day.